Hey everyone and welcome back to GTA Online. Uh, apparently, since the last stream, there's been a new update and we're getting a message from Wendy. Hey, so the arcade safe is like stuffed with cash. Can you please come and collect it before Jimmy like spends it all on burritos? Thanks. Oh, never mind. That's just Wendy. Uh, but anyways, there is a new update. Some like cluck and bell raid or something like that. So uh, definitely going to try that out. And then we still have two jobs or missions or heists or whatever you want to call them from the chop shop. But um, those are kind of random. So if there's one of them available that we haven't done yet, we'll do that. But other than that, I'm not sure. And why is this gun all special back here? I don't know. Well, anyways, I picked it up. Maybe it was just ammo. Hey, D2G. Hey, Orange. Welcome. Hey, Huey. There's one this week I haven't done. Uh, sweet. Do you know which one that is? I mean, I guess we'll worry about that after the cluck and bell raid, but... Or heist or whatever it is. Um, the thing I really don't like about the Chop Shop missions is that it doesn't tell you which one it is until you pay the money to start it. Big Mac... I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Manny yesterday. Good to see you. Hey, Zach. Hey, hello. How am I doing? I'm doing good. Everything's been super crazy for like the last five days or whatever. My parents were in town. Lots was going on. They just left. Things are finally quieting down over here. So I'm just chilling on this Friday night playing some GTA, hopefully having some fun, and hopefully beating the final survival in the game. That'd be cool. I don't know if we're going to have enough time for that tonight, though. We'll see. I think there's a lot going on. Uh, but anyways, where am I? I seem to be near Polito Bay, maybe? Or, no. No, I'm not. Or am I? Where am I? Why am I not recognizing this? Oh, wait. I know where I am. I'm actually somewhat close to the casino go this way. Alright, well apparently my arcade has a bunch of money in it. And actually a bunch of money, so we'll swing by there. Sup, nerd? Big Mac, you're gonna join? Sweet. Sup, Nicholas? AJ? See, girl? Good to see you. Good to see you all. Happy Woman's Day? Wasn't it like... I I don't actually know what it is, but I saw like some... Uh, in LinkedIn of all places, like women in business. Is it like specifically like a working woman's thing? Or is it just Women's Day? I don't know what Women's Day is. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's International Women's Day. Well, happy International Women's Day. You can see how out of touch I am. Vincent. Hey, it's Vincent. It gives me supreme pleasure to report I am no longer mall security guard over at Rockford Plaza. In fact, these days, I'm in a position to offer you a lucrative, although unorthodox opportunity to make some money and sabotage one of your long-standing adversaries. If you're interested, meet me at the Vespucci Police Station. Vespucci Police Station? Isn't that the one I robbed recently? <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, Huey, I'm digging the outfit. But you're not an ape, I'm confused. I don't understand. I don't even know who you are anymore. just for this week. 
You're like, all right, I'll go from chicken, or I'll go from monkey to chip, chicken, but then I'm back to the apes. Now I'm curious, Huey. You you are an ape in GTA. Are you an ape in real life, as in like the stock market apes? Are you that kind of ape as well? The the GameStop and AMC apes. Wow, that was a hundred grand in there. Not bad. Good job, casino or casino. Good job, arcade. Purely a GTA ape, all right. My old nemesis, Space Monkey 3. I've already defeated you. Hey, M4. It has been a while. How you been? Okay, what are we doing now? I guess, you know, I really don't need to go to any other business. Yeah, that's good. We're just gonna go to the Vespucci canals. I wanna do this clucking bell thing. Or Vespucci uh, police station, which I, I think this is the Vespucci. No wait, Vespucci's the like canal area, right? I think it's this one. I believe it's this way. And yep, I see the Vincent symbol right over here. I'm not gonna lie that I do not remember who this dude is. I really don't. register as a mouse as a mouse well that's about uh accurate <laughs> and then chip immediately killed him <laughs> what did he last like two seconds that was funny secure service currently unavailable Somebody coming close. Do we have to defend ourselves. Shit. Yeah, but he was totally aiming at me. He did. I gave him a second. I gave him a second. I'm like, are you friend or foe? He was foe. I gave him a chance. He's looking at me, potentially. All right. Oh my God, why is that so close? All right, where's Vincent at? I've gotten moved and I don't know where. Okay, here we go, he's over here. <laughs> what was that guy trying? Get the deck. Shit. I'm reloading. Watch my back. You got nowhere to go. All right, start the clock and bell farm raid. He was the guy from the casino missions. Yeah, I just don't remember him. From the casino ones, I remember the like the Asian, like, uh, the CEO's son or whatever, who was, like, always doing drugs or whatever and kept getting up to stuff that we had to help him with. I remember him. I don't remember Vincent. Slush Fond, Vincent, I have an opportunity for you. Some unorthodox but profitable collaboration. I can't say more over text. But step one plays to your strengths. Asset forfeiture. We'll put that on hard. Purchase all ammo. 
super heavy ammo or super heavy armor rather and we got James EG and Huey Vincent was the casino bouncer that got fired by Duggan yeah I'm totally not it's not ringing any bells I remember Duggan I don't know. For me, Vincent was apparently very forgettable. When the bar is going inside, not with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness, your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to cross paths with you again, my friend. After head of security at the Diamond, this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's still a long way from a mall cop, right? Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop? Very conspicuously for 10 years now. In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, Effen what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some effin' coffee down here on Dick's. And don't forget the effin' cream and sugar. Copy that. All oh, these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And be in no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. This isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dog, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. Okay, I don't remember interacting with him in any way, but I do remember that eloquent. Location should be coming through. Money launderers on LSPD files with cash to appropriate. I do remember this eloquent individual. I invite you to consider this as a double investment opportunity. I'm going to D.
simplicity. Get inside, get the money, get out. Oh, lost control. Oh, what a recovery, though. Not my way. Alright, go to a money laundering business. Like I said, I'm going to D. Far here. Fuck your head out, I dare you. That was a civilian. <laughs> Either way, they got in the way. That's what you get. Die, motherfucker! You lost, fool. Somebody else here? Who are you? It was weird. They were. It, they seemed to think I was coming through the other way. Either way, I'm taking the cash. Repeatedly tap X to grab it all. What are you guys putting it in these dryers for? I collected the cash, but not all of it. There's it's more our here. duty to confiscate it all. None of this stuff isn't in circulation. I think I got all of D. Yep. D's done. I got a bullet. Oh, hello, guys. We got a man down. You use your snacks already? Oh, where'd they go? You said what now? You what to me? Oh, we got another car coming. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bail. I'm outta here. I'm outta here. Go! Go, car! Gone! Keeping up with me. I'm flying. Oh. Alright, go over the cash to the lockup this way. And here we are. I've just marked a local garage on your GPS. Once upon a time, it was an FIB facility, then the LSPD for a while. Now it's disused and wonderfully off the radar. A perfect storage locker for our operation, in my strictly humble opinion. My crew rides in style. And also right next to each other. This is how we roll. What's up, James? Roll your window down so you can talk to me. I said, roll your window down. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. You didn't roll down. Here, I'll help you out. Oh, I can't aim there?
<laughs> hey guys! Loading. You are drinking a milkshake. I would like to be drinking a milkshake right about now. That sounds great. What kind of milkshake are you drinking? And does your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard? Cookies and cream? Oh, that sounds amazing. Now I want that. You have unlocked a new reward, excess career in the pause menu to claim it. Oh, we apparently got tier one completed and tier two? Oh, okay, that was easy. Let's see. Great progress. I guess it's a heist? No, not a heist. What is it? I don't think it's a business. Maybe it's a contact mission? Yep, contact mission. The Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. What's Cluck and Bell's flavor of the month? Cocaine, courtesy of a new cartel in town. Working hand in glove with the LSPD. Take advantage of institutional corruption to make serious bank. Alongside your man on the inside, Officer Vincent Effenberger. So, Tier 1, steal the setup funds for the Cluck and Bell farm raid. Tier 2, we completed a Cluck and Bell farm raid mission without dying. Now we just have to complete it, the whole thing. And we can look at the others later. Alright, so I assume Vincent will be in contact with us again. Hey, dude! Get off my car! Thank you. Uh, I seem to have froze. There we go. Well, I'm gonna head back towards Vespucci, I guess. I'm totally gonna hit that tree. Yep. <laughs> A little too central on the road. Hey, it's me. That was a lucrative effort. This is a solid fund to use on the rest of our planning efforts. The first leg of which I'll get to work on right now. I'll be in touch. Wait, I thought I saw a V and now it's gone. Where'd it go? Very strange. Well, since I'm over here, I guess we can swing by my nightclub. Oh! Wipe out! Excuse me, coming through. And here we are. <laughs> GTA is back! That's right. Played it last week, too. You just entered with me saying, does your milkshake bring the boys to the yard? I mean, it's, Hi, boss. it's a required question whenever anybody mentions a milkshake. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Tony's oh. pissed about someone ruining the vibe just off the dance floor. Dude went right past drunk and straight into zombie. Just, you want to go escort them from the premises? Boy, oh. I'll be right over. All right, so we got an easy get a job. toss somebody out thingy. Okay. Going to see yoga twerps. We got fifty-one thousand in the safe, and our popularity is taking a hit. I don't understand how this popularity works. Like sometimes I won't play for months, and my popularity is like topped off, and then other times I don't play for a week, and it's down to forty percent. I don't get it.
Yeah, I call my club the ASL. American Sign Language. We're a deaf club. All right, buddy, get out. Get out of here. Go puke on the sidewalk. Or on yourself. All right, well, that gave me some popularity back. And we're almost ranked 168. You think the car is... You think my car is slow? You're crazy. My car is fast. Especially accelerating. Top speed's slower than other cars, though. That's, that is true. <laughs> Dude, your, your suit is going through the top of my car. Oh, you gave me a marker. Where's this to? Oh, is it up? Oh, it is up. Huh, did I just miss it before? Maybe. Tom, get out of here. I don't need champagne. Uh, why is this not working? Did this executive search screw it up? I think it did, actually. Vincent! Hello? Yeah, I think that totally busted my mission. Now I can't do it. Oh, there he is. All right, let's discuss a potential way into this place. The cartel are paying off employees of Cluck and Bell to use their factory as a cover. There are a couple things we'll need in order to solidify my current infiltration plan. Let's move. Uh, the Cluck and Bell farm raid. We did the slash or slush fund. Now set up breaking and entering. Start the breaking and entering setup mission. Sure. You ran out of things to do in GTA, is it worth coming back after a year? I mean, it's kind of a difficult question to answer. Like, nothing ever fundamentally changes in this game, in my opinion. So, if you're looking for new stuff to do, there is new stuff. And I would recommend doing it. But if you're not interested, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that, because it's, like, really the same game. But some of the new stuff is, is fun to do. It's just putting, like, a new... Like wallpaper on <laughs> on an existing experience. Like, it's not a cartel this time. This time it's like mercenaries from who knows somewhere in South America, or this time it's cocaine instead of instead of heroin. Breaking in a terrain, Vincent. All right, now our operation is underway. We need to consider our moves. Preparation is key when it comes to infiltrating the Clucking Bell factory. So I need you to do some groundwork. You know how to drive a train, right? I believe I do. Not, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what's come out in the last year. I guess there was the chop shop. Somewhat forgettable for me, to be honest. And then there's this clock and bell raid. I don't know what else is more recent. But the chop shop has five new heists. Sending the relevant coordinates to you. Go to the terabyte or laptop. Uh, well, I've got to pick. A checklist for today's operation. Number one, a laptop from a Cluck and Bell employee on the cartel's payroll. It's got critical intel for our operation. Number two, a hacking device which is going to help us pilot a train. And that brings me to number three. We need a train. That's how we're getting into the factory. Alright, guess I'm going for the terabyte. Uh, by the way, don't worry. We may share a goal, but I'm fully aware we do not share our motivation. I've made sure sufficient funds are allocated to recompense you for your efforts today. I do love this guy's vocabulary and eloquence. I do remember that from the Let's get ourselves a hacking device. If we're gonna do this, there's a lot of computer systems we're gonna need to override along the way. And this
This is our ticket. Now, fair warning, the guy who owns this is a pretty serious criminal element. Major Hacker. The LSPD won't touch him, but we will. He operates out of a terabyte command truck. I'm sending you a picture of it now. My advice to you is, locate his drones, then tell it to a security. Take them down before you proceed. Where are the drones? This drone. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's kind of cool. I guess we all came for the terabyte. Did anybody go laptop? Oh, dear God. <laughs> are you railgunning them? Steal the hacking device. Information on that laptop is invaluable. It's gonna tell us the perfect time to strike. You get the device? Good. Now you should have no issue requisitioning the train. Or anything else for that matter. Okay, with those two items taken care of, let's move on to the big one. The cartel occasionally takes train deliveries at the factory. We're gonna steal one of the trains they use. Well, that was... That was pretty impressive. I managed to flip it there. Right under their noses. But first things first, we're gonna need a set of keys if we're gonna board it unimpeded. You imbecile! Keep going. I'll make sure there's no retaliation from the LSPD. Just a simple matter of rerouting some calls. Okay, go to the cartel's compound. On the way. Whoa, what was that? Oh, nice recovery, ship. I thought you were wiped out for sure. Yeah, there was no way I was avoiding a crash there. Alright, now the key's gotta be in someone's pocket. Remember, these guys are serious. They will not hesitate to shoot on sight. Take whatever steps you deem necessary. He's got the key. I got it. Steal the train. Oh, yeah. As soon as you have the keys, you should be able to access the train. Hey, Rachel. Welcome to the stream. Escape with the train. Well, there's only one way I can go. You're familiar with the schematics of the train signal network. No? Then just follow the instructions on the hacking device to change the signals as you approach them. You need to keep that train moving at all costs. If you miss your shot, the emergency brakes will kick in and you'll be sitting ducks. The hacking device can be used to switch the signal lights. The train will engage the emergency brakes if it reaches a signal which has not been whatever. Alright, so I have to steer and do the hacking device? Oh, I just click a button, that's it? Okay. Well, nobody's gonna be able to stop me. Yeah, you dummy. How'd you think that was gonna work out for you? Dumb. Let me just put my car right in front of the train. I'm sure it'll work out.
Oh, you dummy, what are you doing? <laughs> these people, these people don't understand how trains work. Oh, there's a dude up there, what the heck? I've never seen him before. You guys are too dumb. Yep, just keep putting your cars in the way. I'm sure it'll work eventually. into that vocabulary. Mission passed. Thomas the Train wins. So, so far, this, uh, this new heist or whatever seems to be going by pretty quick. <laughs> I kept forgetting you were in a train. I was on your track like five times. Wow, Steven, you're, you're as bad as these, uh, these criminals. <laughs> train stops for nobody. These loads are long. What are we back on PS4? What's going on here? This goes fast. There's a challenge to complete it under 45 minutes. I see. And what if there's another train? Will they stop? No. They will go right through each other and then emerge on the other side. They stop for nobody. Not even their own brethren. Oof. <laughs> okay, progress update. The train you acquired has been discreetly relocated into storage, where it will remain until the day of the raid. Things are coming together. Next on the to-do list, acquiring the next gear or the getaway vehicle, your choice. I was trying to make it through that gap and uh, I failed miserably and now I'm on the wrong exit. Well, I guess we're going to go back the wrong direction. Against oncoming traffic. It's fine. It's fine. Get out of my way, people. Alright, so I assume we go back to the same spot with Vincent. It really doesn't like giving me a, a marker on the map, though, does it? Right, I'm gonna try going to Oh, God! Alright, it really wants me on this side. All my efforts to be on the correct side have failed, so we're just gonna go the wrong way. Oh, I didn't even see that car, holy crap. It's because of this camera angle. All right, fine, we'll go over here again. Seriously, I feel, whoa, why? See what that guy did? I, I feel like they've lowered the camera. It used to be higher up, right? I guess we're going this way. 
just as I planned. I'm still... Uh, I need to get down to street level. How am I going to do that? Maybe... Not that. Oh, I could have done it right there. Oh, well. I guess we're going on this freeway, and then I can come over here. And then get off at this exit. Past the dude that's hanging from the billboard. And... Here we are. Hey, Tobias. Good to see you. So, we have some important yet enjoyable decisions to make. On the one hand, you need to acquire your preferred weapons and gear. On the other, you need to acquire your getaway vehicle. We'll need to steal both. These can't be traced back to us. Where would you like to start? Uh, do I not get a choice? Or do I have to go back here? Is it is it mad because I left? Oh, here we go. Uh, set up concealed weapons. Sure. Concealed weapons, Vincent. The cartel will have an advantage over us unless we obtain the necessary weapons and gear. But this is no impulsive smash and grab. We must select our target carefully and keep our tracks covered. Do I have all the heists? Have I done them all or do I have them all? Uh, it depends on what you consider a heist. There are two chop shop missions I haven't done. Other than that, I've done everything except for Cluck and Bell, which we're doing right now. Which, also, I'm not sure if it's technically a heist. It's not in the heist category. Have them all, as far as I know. Unless there's some super secret heist that nobody's ever told me about. Alright then, stand by for your target locations. I'm sending you surveillance images of the game. Go and see. Image of task. Uh, I'll check it out once I get there. Sure you know, our operation requires weapons and gear that can't be traced back to us. The good news is that this city is crawling with gangs carrying that kind of contraband. Half of them includes with this very police department. So today we're gonna confiscate one cache of weapons and one stash of gear. If any of it ends up getting traced after our raid, it'll lead to these reprobates instead of us. I've sent you the coordinates of some appropriate targets. You don't need to hit them all. My advice is to investigate your options. Determine which gang is gonna have a loadout that suits your preferences. And prioritize accordingly. If you come back with more than one set of gear or weapons, that's a good problem. You can choose which to use on the big day. As I was saying earlier, we need weapons and we need equipment. That's armor and masks. We don't want anyone at the Cluck and Bell factory catching a glimpse of your memorable face. Hey, like that shortcut. Alright, so apparently C's like way out here. Taking more shortcuts. Oh, he lands it! Oh, no, he didn't land it. Oh my god, I'm so bumpy out here. Hey, what are you doing out here? I was not expecting C to be this far away.
What did I get this car? You're right, I did get this from the casino wheel. I kind of forgot about that. Where is he? Oh, hi there. Wasn't actually going for him. Hi there. Too slow. Just to be clear, we need at least one set of equipment. But you don't have to stop there. If you want to pay each target a visit, be my guest. Whatever you grab, we'll make sure it's available when we hit the factory. Oh, crap. I didn't save my health. Got everybody? Oh, one more over here. Rude. All right, what do we got? All right, what, what did that say? Press down or up to acquire the military loadout. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's right on the D-pad. All right, I got this, and then I need a bag of gear. that guy oh get wrecked okay I got the stuff at sea apparently we still haven't gotten a once you're satisfied I strongly advise that you move everything to the lockup all right I'm heading to the lockup might take me a while to get there Actually, it might not take me too long because I can take the freeway in. Ah! I recommend loadout B or C. You don't need to get everything. Yeah, but we are cool when we get everything, so we have options. That's what cool people do. They take everything. Whatever action will be sold for more money, see? Even more reason. I like money. 21 million's not enough. We're capitalists, we need more. More money. We're making generational wealth over here. 21 million, you can get through that on a crazy weekend. We need a billion like Huey. Vincent and confirm like we got enough to hit the factory. If you want more, take it. Just send me a text when you're ready to confirm the gear you want to use. Oh, never mind. I'm going to let you guys finish. OK, 
Can't remember if I have one of those. Oh I? I do. So now the guys know where we are. <laughs> Never knows this before. Wax Haven, they have a wax museum. I mean, they can't even pretend that that's not Marilyn Monroe and Elvis and Charlie Chaplin and I don't know who the guy on the left is. Who's that supposed to be? He's the only one of that bunch. I'm like, I don't know who you're supposed to be. Who the heck is that? Somebody must know. Somebody must know. Who is this? Clark Gable? I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea who Clark Gable is. Oh, is that Frank Sinatra? Really? Maybe? That's an impressive haul. Drop me a message when you're ready to decide what you want to prioritize for the raid. Everything else will be safely stored. Ready for you to use when you want it. I don't think that's Sinatra. Sinatra looks a little different. Alright, select equipment. Weapons. There's Marabunta Grande. Compact rifle, combat. Or com compact rifle, combat pistol, mini SMG, crowbar, Molotovs. Professionals, heavy rifle, tactical SMG, heavy shotgun, and pipe bombs, or military, MG, AP pistol, combat shotgun, and grenades. I don't know, what do you guys, what do you guys want to roll with? I'm thinking either professionals or military. What do you think? Nobody chimes in, I will just pick. Roy Rogers? I also don't know who that is. Fly me to the moon is Clark Gable? Military is amazing. All right, let's do military then. And then gear, light armor, low stamina reduction, medium armor, medium stamina reduction, or military, heavy armor, large stamina reduction. Uh, I'm thinking professionals for this one. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought those were Sinatra songs. Yeah, I know, I know Sinatra. But that doesn't look like Sinatra to me. Not that I'm like super familiar with Sinatra's face, but I have seen it and I, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it to me. All right, well, I guess we'll go professionals for this one. Let's do professionals. Professionals it is. I'll keep the other options on standby. Confirm. I selected you. Excellent. No, Charlie Chaplin's on the right. We're talking about the left one, Shane. Charlie Chaplin was obvious. It's Roy Rogers. Yeah, I don't know who Roy Rogers is. What did Roy Rogers do? I recognize the name just slightly. It sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you what he is, like what he's famous for. We are professionals, aren't we? Uh, that might be a stretch, James. I think we're more like maniacs that have some semblance of of teamwork. 
Oh, oh I've never seen him before in my life. <laughs> I love how out of loop you out of the loop you were though, Shane. Man, you guys are dumb. That's Charlie Chaplin. Man, these loads tonight are brutal. The Warlogic Theater. You're no maniac? Yeah, sure. Give Shane a break, he's losing sleep. We'll give him a break. But just this once. He gets a pass. Alright, where am I actually? That was not where I thought. Oh, I'm at the casino. Alright, in that case, this way. Enter a police station. I think that's the other challenge that's going on. Oh God! Is it bad that I saw that bus stop back there and I was like, hey, look, a chocobo stop? Next up, acquiring a getaway vehicle. We need to take the same precautions we did for the weapons. We steal it from a gang, so the trail leads to them instead of us. All right, set up hidden run. Start the hidden run setup mission. The baby chocobo trick that leads you to the stops is so cute. Yeah, but what the heck's up with its butt? <laughs> it's got some weird like plant thing on its butt. Hit and run, Vincent. Breaking into the Cluck and Bell factory is one challenge, but getting out is a whole other conundrum. The bottom line is we need a getaway vehicle. Unconnected and untraceable. I trust you to make the right choice. I'm going B. Get a good look at these surveillance shots I'm sending through. These are the gangs on our radar. I'm going B. I'm sure you have plenty of vehicles capable of getting you out of Cluck and Bell with all your extremities intact, but we need something that can be traced to us. I've acquired three suitable options for a getaway car. All of them are sourced from local gangs bribing the LSPD to turn a blind eye to their activities. If the car ends up getting traced, the trail leads back to them, not us. We'll only need to use one of them for the raid. The choice, as always, is yours. Find and steal a getaway vehicle. I guess I'm gonna take this way. I haven't quite figured out where it's at yet. Okay, we got three cars from three gangs, but you only need one to get away from the Cluck and Bell factory. Though all these cars differ. 
fine quality, you can safely assume all of these locations will have men with guns on standby. Ain't we prepared to deal with any so-called fuck shit? Okay, I found it. I should remind you, these groups are the same people you may have visited when sourcing your equipment. If you pay the same crew another visit, expect increased security. Wait, is this a Chinook? I, uh, am shocked by this. Hi. No, what is this? Down, My special low. carbine. We need Take fucking cover. You did. You're getting shot from behind. Yeah, let's go back you over did. here. You oh, that's a lot of dudes. All right, but I don't see that here. I go to like the wrong spot. Or something? Oh, come on! He blind fire killed me. Get out of here! What a bunch of garbage! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! That was like pinpoint accuracy aiming blind fire. What a bunch of garbage! I wish I could do that. Wow, that was so dumb. Uh, sorry guys, I wasn't expecting the game to be that stupid, but... I underestimated it. I love how their aim, the, that dude blind firing me, his aim was better than all of the other dudes who weren't blind firing. It's pretty impressive. I actually wonder if I was at the wrong spot though. <laughs> wow, he didn't even react. I'm just having a lot of fun running these dudes over. <laughs> Alright, we should probably like, actually get out now. Alright, watch out. Make sure they aren't blind firing at you or you're screwed. Pinpoint accuracy. Nobody's popping out. Where is this dude? 
Oh no, here we died. I should reset it, right? No? Weird. Here we died, but we didn't reset. Why is that? Uh, I'm confused. Oh, I thought that like Chinook thing was the getaway vehicle. All right, well, I have no idea why we're able to continue. Oh. So why are we able to continue if we died? And how the heck do we get out of here? That trash can't want to move, I guess. Hey, uh, whoever's with me, is that you, James? You want to move that car so I can use this as a ramp? James? Thank you. No, 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 this car. Right over here. Right over here. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, what? Well, that didn't work. Right, let me try again. Because I died last time. I mean, that still doesn't make any sense. We have zero lives. I don't know if I can get it out of here. Oh, here we go. All right, attempt. Number two. Let's aim over to the left. Perfect. Oh. Hop in, James. The Wax Haven mural is said to be John Wayne. Ja oh, that second one was James Dean and not Elvis? I don't know about that one. We actually, um, there's a town near where I live, and one of the hotels has a big uh, piece of artwork of James Dean. And that looked like Elvis to me, not James Dean. <laughs> it created a huge argument online. I mean, there must have been people saying it's Elvis. There must have been. Drive the getaway vehicle to the garage. Is the garage in a different place? It must be. Either that or it's taking us on the dumbest path imaginable. Alright, looks like somebody already went to A and got that done. Nice work. Oh, wait. No, A is still open. You know, I don't know if I've ever had a latte in my life. I don't like coffee, so I would presumably not like it, but I don't think I've ever actually tried a latte in my entire life. What's up, Fraggle? Welcome. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've ever had a latte, a cappuccino. Probably some other caffeinated thing. I don't know how anyone drinks coffee or coffee. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I don't know how anyone drinks coffee. Uh, I not only like the taste or don't like the taste, but it's just way, like, I can't do much caffeine. I, like, won't sleep. I don't drink basically any caffeine ever. It's very rare that I do. <laughs> it's never too latte. Badooch. I actually said that before you typed it, M4. Prepare 
repair the getaway vehicle. Apparently we messed it up too much. Jeez, good work, James. Here I was, treating it so nice, and you gotta go mess it all up. What did you want me to perform? All right, don't mess it up this time, James. Unless you wanna go after another option, message me to confirm that's the vehicle you want <laughs> Hey, how use. dare you. How dare you, sir? You've taken the wheel next time. <laughs> what are you trying to say about my driving? You got a favorite? Message me and tell me which vehicle you want to use when we hit the factory. I'll sell the rest and make sure the money makes it into your hands. You'd rather have pop? So you can always tell roughly where somebody's from if they say soda or pop. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think pop is a uh, East Coast and UK thing. Because I think General's called it pop before. We say soda. At least in California. I can't speak for the rest of the West Coast. They haven't given me that authority yet. Your friend calls it Sody Pop? Is your friend three years old? <laughs> Sody Pop? Literally calls soda soda pop. Okay. That's too many syllables. He's 28, married, and has a kid. I think his kid has infiltrated his mind. Alright, is anybody going for A or are we all just sitting here like morons? Oh, we're all just sitting here like morons. How about that? Wait, where's our fourth person? Did we lose somebody? Oh, did. Huey, like, drop out after he died? Alright, well, can I call in my... Can I call in my, um... Whatchamacallit? No. Did we do the last survival? No, we didn't try it. We did it last stream. We got to wave nine, I think? And then a jet came out and proceeded to bomb us. I'm from Oklahoma and I normally call it Coke. I assume you mean specifically Coca-Cola. It'd be weird if you called every soda Coke. I'm coming. Once I drop off the kids at soccer, I will be there. Or is today dance rehearsal? <laughs> soccer. Does that offend you? Oh! Wow, what? Are you freaking kidding me? Wow. That is two times the game has screwed me on this mission. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, literally nothing I could have done. 
<laughs> That's why you don't call it soccer. I'll call it soccer again. I'll do it a second time. Wait, what's going on now? Wait, why don't... What? What is happening in this broken thing? What happened there? Oh, just utter BS. Message me to confirm that's the vehicle you want to use. Well, I'm literally stuck in here, so you guys are gonna go have to get the other ones without me, apparently. Yep, I'm totally After stuck in here. you steal your preferred getaway vehicle, I'll make sure you get a bonus for any extra cars you find time to repossess. Nope, it's soccer. Deal with it, General. The correct term is soccer. The rest of the world is wrong. Hi, James. I'll meet you there. I don't need... I don't need to live that lavish life. I've got this car. It gets me from A to B. Yeah, yeah, I I hate to break it to you guys, but but your boy Messi, he plays in a soccer league. So what do you think about that, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Messi knows. He knows it's soccer. Hey, I don't, I didn't make it up. Messi plays in a soccer league. It's MLS, Major League Soccer. So now what? Checkmate. Checkmate, Europeans. I'm gonna have to direct you to the MLS acronym, General. Perhaps you should uh, familiarize yourself with it. Checkmate, checkmate rest of the world, it's soccer. Why doesn't soccer make sense? Another country's American football is called rugby? No, it's not. Rugby is a completely different sport. Unless they, like, view it as, like, a rugby variant. Hey, I'm just saying Messi didn't have a problem with it. <laughs> no. Football and rugby are very, very different. Not that silly sport that they call football. Real football. But that doesn't make any sense, General. You guys actually have real rugby. Why would you call 
Why would you call American football rugby as well? That's super confusing. Like, rugby is a distinct sport. Very, very different from football. Cocksucker. Yeah, I think you guys just don't know what you're talking about with the whole rugby thing. <laughs> like, rugby is a very different sport. Rugby is a sport that I could never get into. I got you, James. And don't wait for me, I'm just gonna drive this car out. Oh. I thought I was going to. What's up in this spot? They like don't let you get out. Alright, whatever, I'll just kill them and take their car. Started your avatar series shinies and surprised your voice is not gone from reading all the plants info. Eh, my voice can hold up sometimes. Sometimes it gives out on those longer videos. But usually that's because I was recording like a bunch of other stuff that day. Oh, hi James. Hey, <laughs> why did you leave? Oh, whatever. We'll go together. Way to mess up the car again, James. Jeez. Can't trust you with anything. Did that bug get patched for Avatar? I don't know, actually. They had a patch. It wasn't listed on the patch notes. So I kind of doubt it, but you never know. I haven't had a chance to check it. My dad asked if you were the narrator. <laughs> like, man, this guy talks a lot. You don't know how many, how many times over the years I've uh, gotten comments like, you most really like the sound of your own voice. It's like, no, actually I hate it. I assume that the only people that like the sound of their own voice are narcissists. And they're like, my voice, mm, it's perfection. It might actually be the best voice in the world. I think I'll record it and listen to myself talk. And then their voices suck. <laughs> that ain't good. Everyone's voice is perfect to some. Well, I disagree with that. Some people have like undeniably terrible voices. <laughs> I don't think anybody with like one of those like I don't even know what to call them where they like cut a hole in your like throat for smokers. I don't think anybody's like Shit. swooning over their voice. What is that called anyway? Where they sound like sort of robotic. A stoma? We only need one set of wheels. I don't know. Just make a choice. Message me your decision, and I'll make sure the others sell for a profit. It's like smokers get it. Like, I, I don't know if it's, like, cancer-related or what, but they have to, like, stick a... Like, they almost have, like, a hole in their throat that they, like, stick a thing into to talk. You guys know what I'm talking about? 
Anyways, let me text Vincent. Yo, Vincent. Our getaway car. Uh... I don't know. I think the Raiden's this middle one. I kind of like it. Take the hammer? Oh, the oh, Hummer. I assume that's the Mammoth Patriot M MIL spec. All right, we can do that. We'll take the Hummer. Wait, what happened? Okay, confirm. Leave the garage. Any money the impound gives us for these other vehicles will go right to you. Now clear the area. We'll be in touch. <laughs> the only perfect voice is Dan and DeVito. Vincent's voice is pretty nice. I think most people would say Morgan Freeman. Take me to school, Dad! James Earl Jones defined perfect voice acting. I honestly only know him from, from Vader. Like, what else did he do? for your team to leave the area. Who's the slacker? He was Mufasa? Was he really? Man, you gotta admit though, uh, what's his face? Uh, geez, why can't I think of his name? Luke Skywalker, his, his actor, um, freaking kills it with Joker. Why can't I think of his name? It's going to bug me now. The heck is his name? Mark Hamill. Thank you. Couldn't think, couldn't think of his name. Yeah. Mark Hamill absolutely kills it as the Joker. Of all the people you would have thought who would be good voice actors, like watching Star Wars with Luke Skywalker like way back in the day, I don't think anybody would have guessed that one. Like the difference between Luke and the Joker is so insane. Like I would have never guessed that Mark Hamill would, would be able to make that kind of voice. <laughs> Pops pills. Look at that dude's face. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait, we see a challenge. Earn five million from the clock and bell farmer. What? I'm gonna get five million. What's it talking about? Uh, all right, I would like to call in my Sparrow What is that sound? What is happening? Oh, you guys like broke a water main? <laughs> Excellent. 
I've been investigating where the factory workers parked at, fortunately for us. The garage seems to get completely ignored. Your getaway car will remain undisturbed until it's time for the raid. Of all the things I was expecting to see when I looked back there, like busted Wanderman was not one of them. We have one more setup than finals. Oh, finale. I thought you said finals. I was like, oh, we better study up. Don't want to mess up the final exam. Gerald, you seeing those stash houses pop up around town, homie? That's some competition I don't need. Raid them cribs and you'll get a little cash or supplies for your businesses. If you're running with one and I'll get them MFs off my mind. You're still in GIMP status, huh, Steven? Any idea when you're going to get your function back? I'm, at, I'm a bit gimpy myself. I hurt my knee early in the week and uh, I still can't quite rock, walk right. Alright, let's see. We want to go right over here. We're coming down fast! Oh crap, that was not ideal. Stop playing. Hey, so I understand that your MO is up to you, but there are steps you can take to ensure the element of surprise is on your side. Introducing a little chaos into the cartel supply line is one of them. If you do, they'll assume your arrival on the train is just an unscheduled delivery. And if nothing else, the looks on their faces will be highly amusing. All right, set up disorganized crime. I start walking into this month. It's my two month anniversary today. Oof. Well, glad you're gonna be able to walk again very soon. That's cool. Disorganized crime, Vincent. It is critical that our entry into the Cluckin Bell factory goes as planned. To ensure this, we need to sabotage the cartel's supply lines. I follow the line of investigation, and I believe I know how we can achieve this. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later for being so assiduous. Dang, this guy's got a dictionary. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. Vincent showing me up with his vocabulary. Not <laughs> Orthosaurus, maybe. Maybe he's got both. Boulevard. I like the name of that. All right. The time has come to throw the cartel supply lines into disarray. We need them in a state of chaos. So when our unscheduled train delivery arrives at the factory, they just leave them through. So our primary objective is to locate their depot and sabotage their fleet of delivery trucks. Our secondary objective is to find a key card that will allow us 
access to the factory's restricted areas. Oh, and keep an eye out for a driver uniform. That could come in handy for getting into the depot to hit the trucks. go for this These guys oh no there's somebody there with their GPS. oh look Stay how fast vigilant. we did that pro team and done we've got what we need I drive like you cook like a virtuoso I never knew you were so Don't good at cooking Go to the cartel's garage. <laughs> you just you just hurt James' ankle. Poor James. Sabotage the trucks, find the key card, wipe the CCTV, and get out. That way, the cartel Wipe the CC. Oh, oh crap! He's not paying attention. Oh, you guys, they cleared that out for some reason. Uh, wipe the CCTV footage to erase any evidence. Failure to do so will put the Cluck and Bell factory on high alert for the raid. I got a drill. What do I do with this? Hey, sounds like one of the guards informed the factory. They know you're coming. Ah, I can drill the lockers. I got it. I wonder if there's more money in here, though. When we hit the factory, that's gonna simplify things. I got some extra dough. Okay, you gotta get out now. With the factory suspicions raised, time is indispensable. Did we get the CCTV? Cause I sure didn't. Well, hopefully. EG, you heading to the, uh, the Trace Atkins concert after this? You'll fit right in. Alright, now the cartel know we're coming. We need to formulate our strategy. You get out of there, and I'll make contact when it's time to hit the factory. Leave the area. Well, that mission was very easy. Oh, I'm gonna jump this car. 
Oh, that didn't give me nearly as much air as I thought it was going to. Oh, that was going to be a perfect slide if that stupid car didn't get in the way. Would have been a drift for the ages. Keep driving until we don't get any more cartel on us? I don't know, they seem to be after me. Oh, there we go. Leave the area. Oh, God! Mission passed! You ran into the wall. I would say hi, but I'm apparently supposed to ignore what you're writing, according to your username. <laughs> Throw an orbital strike to lose them. You know, we got killed by an orbital strike a few streams back. It was so weird. <laughs> it's like, who just spent like 500,000 to, to like obliterate, obliterate us from, from space? Who space lasered us? Can't be mad about that. It's like, well, I mean, I was worth half a million to airstrike. Kind of makes me feel good about myself. That's just how you stop the car in Los Santos. It's true. We don't even need brakes. If you want to slow down, you should just hit some pedestrians. Like a real man. Oh boy, these loads. Your car, great. I mean, to be fair, I could afford to spend 500k. I'm not going to, but I could. Hey, sometimes in the field. At that point, one must abandon all subtlety and get the job done. I pass no judgment for that. Though in this case, it does mean the cartel will be ready for you when you return for the raid. Not again. Okay, heading back to Vincent's spot. to inform you that we have officially completed all necessary preparations to move forward with the clucking bell operation at your earliest convenience. Let's make this happen. So formal. All right, finale, scene of the crime. Start the clucking bell farm raid finale. Scene of the crime, Vincent. This is your final assignment. It's time to take down the Cartel Cop Coalition. The train's waiting to take you to the factory, and remember, they know we're coming. So let's make sure we surpass all their expectations and fuck them up industriously. I'm gonna have to use that. Some dude's messing with me on the street. The fight's inevitable. I will fuck you up industriously. And then he'll be so confused 
I'll have time to land a punch and then run away. Kind of threw us right into the action, didn't they? He's got some stopping power. All right. I don't know where I'm going. But I apparently found some stuff. Oh, this is where we can, like, swap equipment? Okay. All right. Well, that stuff's there if we wanted it. I'm coming, guys. Sorry, I got distracted. Got the key card here. All right, I'm going this way, boys. Where are you from, huh? That's it. It's clear this place is barely functioning as a chicken factory. One would assume they'd have more cutting down staff to keep up appearances, but I underestimated just how bold criminals can be once they have the police in their pocket. The storage area should be where they keep their product. Take as much as you can. Give me all the coke. I'm gonna make some 1890s Coca-Cola. That stuff really got the kids hyper. I imagine it did. Alright, I got it all. Be efficient out there. If someone obtained the narcotics, move on to the safe. device can be equipped via the weapon wheel. All right, you guys are on that. I'll help kill enemies. Hey, they actually do make some chicken here. All right, well, I guess I'll help with the hacking device then. Does this thing work? Use the safe code to open the safe. Okay, I should have done it. Have you received the safe code? Eighty four sixty six twenty two. I guess I'll do it. for the code to the safe. Eighty four 
66. Was it 22, I think? Oh, wait. I should go this way. Error? Oh, crap. I did it wrong. Alright, hold on. Sorry, guys. I suck. Well, 84. Oh, 84, 66, 62. Sorry, guys. 84. 66, 62. Got it. I do believe we're done here. Alright, I'd say it's about time for you to get out of there. Does it help the some cops and cartel ready to gun you down on your way out? So be ready. The fastest means of escape is still a getaway they won't let you stashed in the garage. Grab him a car. I'm driving. I can't wait to see him try to take that car down. Alright, deliver the loot. I guess we don't care about ditching. It's nice and all, but it is snow when I'm wielding. Oh, they're not putting up much resistance, are they? Even with four stars, there's like nobody out here. Get out of my way. I really thought my Humvee would win that much more convincingly than it did. Maybe slow, but it's bulletproof. I don't know about bulletproof. Bullet resistant, maybe? I took some damage on that, and it wasn't just from the impact. How you guys? Oh, never mind. I thought you guys were shooting through the back. Hey, Frankie. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Civilian took him out for us. Thanks, Civilian. Super useful. So far, they can't seem to stop us. Ah, dummy. Oh, he managed to get me. Hey! You stay there. Oh, how's that for escape tactics? Better get out of here, civilian. It's a bad place to be. 
Maybe drive a little bit faster. Somehow we went from four stars to three. I think that armored car can be destroyed, can it? I don't know. I, if you can, it'd probably be pretty difficult to pull off. Get out of my way. Oh boy, a little crowded over here. Let's go over here. Oh, bad traction. I got it, I got it. Ooh, we like ditched them completely. Are we in the clear? That was way too easy. Hold on. Choppers, like right there. If he turns, I'm screwed. Oh no! Oh no! In case you were wondering what I intend to do with the illegal narcotics you so adroitly seized, Crap. I made arrangements with the representative of a local businessman to take them off your hands and pay you well. See you Almost. Shortly. Lose the cops. I'm on it. Shockingly easy to ditch these cops. I was gonna go in there, but that seems like a bad idea. I'll stay out here. God, how long does it take? Good yet? I feel like they've been looking for us for like two minutes now. Anytime now. Never mind. I thought it was close last time, but I wasn't because that takes forever. You're all clear. Deliver the loot, and we're close. Excellent work. Mission accomplished. Now to the vital matter of payment. As I'm sure you can appreciate, there are certain transactions I can't be party to as an officer of the law. But if I've learned anything from my consociates on the LSPD, it's how to look the other way. Now remember, as far as I'm concerned, you can hit that factory as often as you'd like. As long as you're giving me reasons to keep looking the other way, I'm happy. As you can see from my choice of transportation, my fortunes at the LSPD are also improving. Just got these babies in. 
Fresh off the line. <laughs> Guess who picked one up? Until next time, I'll just disassociate. Mission passed. Jeez, 500,000. Pays well. Although, to be fair, I think those heists give, like, well over a million, and they're actually faster. So maybe it actually doesn't pay that well. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think the, like, the Doomsday would, would pay out better. Plus 250k for the first time? Well, that's nice. Even the older heists pay pretty well. Especially they like bumped them at on some update. I can't remember when that was. So I actually feel like that was kind of a weak payout. I like this for fun, but pay-wise, it's great for new players. Is it, though? I feel like the heists are better. Don't need to buy anything to set up. Yeah, but the the high-end apartment wasn't that expensive. I can't remember what I paid for mine, but it was not much. It felt like a lot at the time. Oh, I never uh, got my rewards, did I, from that career thing? Let's see, maybe I didn't. Uh, do, 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 do. Pluck and bell. Yeah, I didn't claim it. Get my cluck and bell t-shirt. And this is, oh, we get a police car. Interesting. And then for the next one, complete scene of the crime without being spotted. Complete scene of the crime using both approaches. I see. And then for tier four, earn five million. So do it like 10 times. Complete the Cluck and Bell farm raid in less than 45 minutes as a leader. And then complete scene of the crime using all available setup equipment. I see. Hello? I wanted to confirm that your compensation is in your account. And of course, to congratulate you again on a successful operation. Our efforts to derail the Cluck and Bell cartel's efforts were indeed effective. But it won't be long before they and their corrupt counterparts in the LSPD rebuild their little enterprise. Each and every time we knock them back down, I'll ensure it's worth your while. Effenberger up. Alright, let me hit up an ammunition and I want to try that survival. I was going to do one of the Chop Shop missions, but that would be like the entire rest of the stream. So maybe we'll save that for next time. Although there is one on rotation that I apparently haven't done, and who knows if it'll be the next time, but I still think we can save it. So, let's see. I'm trying to think of where the nearest ammunition or ammunition is. Oh, I guess we'll just head this way. Oh, God! Who put that tree there? Uh, we got an award, the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. That's 800 RP. Whoa! <laughs> we got an award cockfight. Interesting. What do we do for that? All right, well, I'm just going to go to the ammunition I know about. Right over here. Get out of the way. Here we are. I need body armor. Probably don't need much to be honest. I think I stocked up last time. Yeah, I just need a one. I'll two. An excellent purchase. Okay, let's see if we can get through our final survival. 
It's all come down to this. We already got to wave nine, so we definitely know it's doable because we honestly got to wave nine pretty quick. So we'll see what surprises are in store on wave 10 if we can get there. <laughs> Did Rockstar ever get around to telling people what the, the job points was ever for? Uh, some people have explained it and I, I always forget. But yeah, they are odd. They don't seem to matter. You got tier 3 done on that, Steven? Awesome. Alright, so I'm going to go back to that spot I was at. Uh, the only... The only issue with that spot is there can be some enemies that spawn to the side. There's one spot in particular that's very dangerous for me. Other than that, I can hold that area. So if anybody can watch my right side, that would be amazing. Somebody was doing it last time, but just, just calling it out. And actually, I'm turned around. I think this was my spot over here. Right? I think so. I think this is where I was hanging out last time. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, so when they spawn over there, that's when I run into problems. Outside of that, this spot works really nicely for me. Easy peasy, wave one is done. So who's taking out the jet? I think EG said he was going to. Take that cardboard box. Uh, uh. What are you wearing, Steven? It looks like you're in like a kimono or something. I don't know what he's wearing. It's interesting looking, that's for sure. Yeah, somebody needs to watch this side on me, otherwise they're gonna get behind me. So if anybody could just keep an eye over there, that would be great. Oh, they can spawn there too. I'll have to watch out for that one, that's brutal. I've never seen them spawn there before, what the heck? I forgot they sent in the trucks on wave two, that's crazy. They like specifically made this survival for psychopaths like us. They're like, oh, they think they can do the other survivals, huh? Let's give them one to remember. Dick. Wait, this is an award for career progress, really? You want to Like specifically Zancudo? Oh, I know I'm a psycho. I'm just clarifying that everyone else here with me is also a psycho. I already know. 
I don't need confirmation. Ships the psycho? No? Oh, he is. Don't let him fool you. He's like 10 seconds away from a straight jacket. Don't let that innocent face fool you. Right, I gotta grab some health. All right, what are we at? Wait for? Wait for. Oh, we lost ship. Oh, we lost Huey. surrounded who's left you got this EG oh well we sucked it up that was a warm-up round we sucked it up all right let's try that again Wave four, how embarrassing. Were you in the same spot, Huey? Because I felt like I was getting way more pressure from my left side where you were clearing out last time. I wonder if you changed anything. Because I, I got surrounded a little bit easier than I did last time. You got lit up in that area. Wow, crap. I was kind of relying on you. I guess I could keep trying, but... I don't know if I can hold my spot if you're not in that other spot. Because they, they're coming through that center area for me, and it's, it's not good. Dick. I also don't like that they're spawning over there. They weren't doing that before. They're spawning in that back part, but not right there.
My left is torture. Let's see what happens. I'm still in the same spot. Okay. Yeah, because I'm fine if they come on the right side, but if they start coming from the left side too, I'm just... It's too much. I can't hold them back. Especially because they can take cover over there. So once they advance, I'm kind of screwed. See, when they spawn back there, it's okay. That's not a bad area. It's not great when they're back there, but I can deal with it. When they spawn on the right side, it really sucks. I don't appreciate that much, so much. Ooh, somebody just took them out over there. Thank you. Wave two complete. Now behind me is actually okay because there's lots of cover from the spots they they come from, and uh, somebody's back there. It's either um, James or EG. I'm not sure which, uh, but they're kind of watching my back. But the left side, if Huey's not clearing that out, I'm kind of screwed. So I'm not worried about the back. Yeah, when they spawn in that spot, it really sucks. Dang, just wiping them out in that spot. Three complete. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you are already doing something different from last time, Huey, but I can feel it. It's been significantly easier over on my side with you presumably clearing out that area. It's been quite nice. That gunner, I think I did. No, maybe not actually. There we go, he's dead. Alright, there we go, we got through that wave this time. And did I even take any damage? I don't think I did. Okay. Wave five, I do not remember what's in wave five. 
I'm going to guess enemies. Oh, five might be tank time. You might be right. It's tank time? All right, tank time. Right, I'm letting EG take out the flying stuff, flying vehicles. Tank! Oh boy. Oh, the tank's looking right at me. I'm dead. Nice knowing you, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, man. I should have just stayed on the left. I don't know. I was kind of hoping he would stay looking at you guys, but looks like you're mostly through. I held it down as long as I could. Oh no, we lost Huey! Sorry, you guys got this. There's only a few enemies left. I'd like to think I took one for the team. I took a lot of dudes down with me. <laughs> I still contributed. Yeah, I got my 15. Yeah, well, that just shows how much we rely on each other, Steven. I got you, man. You're like a brother to me. Thank you for getting him. Well, we're blazing through this wave. Easy peasy. Wow, there was way less enemies in that one. That's weird. Okay. Don't ask questions, just accept it. Wave seven. All right, I think it's wave nine where the jet shows up. That's when things get serious. Now what? Here they come. One of them's a gunner, I think. Those gunners are nasty, so watch out.
All right, we made it, basically. We'll finish these two off. Boys. Friend the butt. Okay. What are we at? Eight? I think we're at eight. We got this. We got this. Look how many bolts I've shot. <laughs> oh God. All right, wave eight. Here we go. Nice job. Okay. We got this. Wave nine. We got this, boys. I'm just going to pretend like the jet's not there. And trust EG to shoot it. Because I got to make sure I keep... The ground troops in check, otherwise we'll get overwhelmed really quick. Right, we're good over there. Alright, not bad over here at all. Alright, here's the jet. Jet's here. Oh, somebody got behind me. Oh, I thought that area was clear, which means Huey's down too. Is it EG that watches my back? Is that what happened? All right, you guys got this. It's rough, but you guys got this. Ah, oh, shoot, we lost EG. It's over. Ship's not gonna survive that. Yeah. Okay, so what happened there? Is EG the one who's behind me that normally watches that spot? Because if it is, I can just put more focus behind me. I, I suspect that's what happened. I think EG was distracted shooting down the things in the air. All right, well, we'll get this started, clear out the easy starting waves. So is that is that what happened, EG? Are you the one watching behind me? Because that's easy to fix. Wow. Easy <laughs> may not be the right word. 
Nice job on the jet, though. That thing was gone almost instantly. Yeah, okay. I'll just put more focus behind me. And then once, uh... Once... Once the air stuff is down and it looks like we're kind of, like, more stabilized, then I'll switch back to... Just kind of focusing on my side. That sucks, though. Like, it was it was just, like, one dude and he dropped me so fast. What's the right gun? I guess so. What's different for some reason? Oh, ship check up? I'll focus the jet. Oh, you were both aiming for it? Okay. Yeah, because if you both are distracted by it, we're going to get overwhelmed by the ground troops. So it makes sense for one person to do it. I thought that's what we were doing, actually. But either way, that was good. It's actually, like, not that hard, in my opinion. I, I think this is not the hardest. Uh survival I think either I think the quarry is the hardest one unless wave 10 is like just something absurd this one has like shock factor and is like very hard to have like an initial strategy for but now that we have one it's pretty simple actually you piece of shit what do you guys think? What's the hardest survival? I don't think it's this one. This one's up there, though. This one's definitely up there. To me, this is the third hardest survival. Or tied for third, maybe. It feels roughly equivalent to the hillbilly one. Forest one took a while, but I think the quarry actually took longer. That one's rough. The quarry one sucks. Well, I don't know. Maybe they were about equal. It felt like we got through the forest one a little bit quicker than the quarry, but I could be wrong. Wow, look at all of them on this side. We got a crazy rush coming, Huey. Come on. We held it down. No sweat. Wow, that was barely any progress on the wave. What the heck? Thank could the worst? Oh, no, I don't agree with that at all. It's actually not that bad, if you ask me. Just take some strategy. Cause it like, I, I want to say it was only like our fourth attempt that we got to wave nine. Like we definitely did not do that with the forest or the quarry or even the farmhouse. All right, I should probably hit my targets. That might be helpful. Just 
Just maybe. Thanks for the cover, Huey. I was being kind of terrible. Oh, lost Huey. Oh, crap. Lost DG. Oh, crap. What's happening, guys? Oh, jeez. I couldn't get my minigun out. Alright, well, we sucked that one up. We apparently really suck at Wave 4. Wave 4 is, is our kryptonite over here. We get past Wave 4, it's smooth sailing. <laughs> Band gunned you down? Yeah, those gunners are pretty nasty. It's uh, fortunate they don't show up very often. They're on like wave four and maybe one other. <laughs> Just imagine yourselves as the 300 of the hot gates, except you've got to live. All right, we got this. Five for me with a heli, it literally hovers over me. I thought we took out those helis like really, really fast. Do they even do anything? I feel like they just hover. I never even noticed them shoot or do anything. I thought they just like dropped troops or something. Oh, they shoot? Okay. I don't know. I just blow them up so quick. I never noticed. I guess. Because I would just minigun them down and... And they got wrecked. You out of here, Rachel. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. I got a little too brave, even for wave one. Got a little too brave. Well, I guess it worked out. It's only a mistake if you die, right? Maybe I'll just do that on wave 10. You swear people come out of the helis? Oh, I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure they, they drop troops if you don't take them out. Honestly, in some ways, I find the earlier waves to be harder because they just send so many enemies at you. 
I feel like they kind of calm it down a little bit on the later waves. Like, there's still a lot of enemies, but not quite to the same degree as, like, these first four. Oh, that didn't kill The Drive Podcast. Hello. Welcome. All right, what are we on? Three or four? I think we're on three. I believe we're at three. You scumbag! God, they keep spawning over there. We need to pull back! It's the one spot I don't have a great plan for. All right, we are on three. Again, they're over there. Alright, we get major pressure over here, my god. They just keep coming. All right, got through that. Body armor collected. Mini gun time. Way for our nemesis. That's a good start. wave sucks so bad. I'm not gonna last much longer. I'm alive! Alright. Man, that wave sucks. Where are you shot from? He shot me through the car, didn't he? Man, wave four sucks. <laughs> I was just holding on for dear life. I, yeah, I honestly, I think wave four is one of the hardest ones. Because they send in the dudes on the turrets. And then they, there's just a... A, a whole flood of enemies on the ground, like all at once. I think it's one of the worst waves. You get through four and you're in pretty good shape. Until nine. Yeah, see, this is way more calm. Ship. Come on, in my armor. Oh, 
Oh, wait. What? Oh, oh, come on. I lit him off. You've got to be kidding me. Watch out, Huey. I'm down. I I don't understand. I lit that gunner up. Oh, Huey's down. It's all you. All you, EG. Oh, okay. I, that's really annoying. I freaking lit that gunner up. There's no way he lived through that. There's zero chance. All right, one more try. I thought four was the only one that had those gunner dudes. I guess four and five. I still don't understand. Like, I I put so many bullets on that gunner. There's no chance he lived. No chance. I would have got it, but I didn't know there was a gunner around the corner. That's fair. Yeah, those guys will kill you in like a second. He shouldn't have been alive though, because I freaking destroyed him. Put my minigun right on his turret. I don't get it. If I had gotten him, I think we would have been okay. I was probably going to go down regardless. I was getting overwhelmed. But I think you guys would have been able to finish it off. Oh, you're out of here, General. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. times I've had the dudes from the left shoot me. I wonder. Huey is now spectating. Oh, no he's not. He's here. You know what's really annoying? They should show you how many body armors you have in your inventory. I don't know why they don't. It's like very basic information. They should also tell, me, tell you how many snacks you have. On your weapon though. What's up, Prothic? Welcome to the stream. Wave three. Fight. What is going on? My aim. What the? It's jumping all over the place. There we go. That was weird. Something. 
You know, I feel like you're covering me, Huey, but I'm not necessarily covering you. If there's anything that you want me to, like, specifically look out for on your side, I don't know how well I'll be able to manage it, but if I see it, I'll try to tackle it. Just to make sure you don't get overwhelmed. this guy hiding He's somewhere back there heck is he Stupid there he is I got him oh you're out of here drive have a good one. Okay, wave four. Our favorite. Here we Oh, we lost ship. Alright, we got this though. Way to hold down the fort, guys. Nice work. Those trucks are way too OP. Oh, yeah, with the gunners. It's all good, though. We made it through. We're going to have to deal with them on five, and then I think we don't have trucks for a while. Which will be nice. Kind of, kind of caught out there, Huey. Hopefully, get back in time. <laughs> yeah, you're good. All right, way five. Let's go. Forgot about the tank. Crap. How could I forget the tank? Ah, oh, I'm down. I'm a fucking marine. All three of you still going though. Oh, you guys got it. Nice job. Nice work. Looks like the tank's down. Oh. 
Jeez, EG, you took a ton of damage there. Dude, lit you up. Survived wave five. Womp womp womp. 11 kills. Okay. I feel like 6, 7, and 8 aren't that bad. We've breezed through them in the past. I don't know if we were just in the zone or if they're actually easy waves. But these waves have not given us any problems whatsoever in the past. Everybody back! Yeah, for some reason, wave sick is really easy. <laughs> they just kind of send regular enemies at you in like a slow pace. Weird. But hey, we deserve an easy one. We earned it. And then seven, I can't remember what's on seven. I don't think seven or eight have anything noteworthy. And then the jet on nine. And you know there's gonna be tanks on 10. That one's gonna suck. You know there's gonna be tanks on 10. out of here. Ugh, in the way. I wonder if I can move it somehow. I got the gunner, so don't worry about the truck. It's just there. Nice freaking work, Huey. You were mowing those dudes down. At least I assume that was you. Nice. <laughs> okay. I think we're at eight or are we at nine? I kind of lost track. I think we're at eight. Let me see if I can move this. Yeah, get that out of there. It's in my way.
There's a bunch of dudes like burning to death over there. I'm like, what's going on? I just hear them screaming. Get behind something! Shot my leg! Nice job. All right, wave nine. I'll be uh, putting some attention behind me. Hopefully I don't get overwhelmed when you're taking out the jet. You've been setting traps, nice. I was never good at using the traps. Oh, you better get back to your spot, Huey. Don't get caught out. Alright, we should be getting a jet now. Jet's here. Oh, come on! I killed the gunner, but there were so many dudes back there. Oh, wow. We got just obliterated. I'm pretty sure I got the gunner. Something killed me, like, instantaneously. And I don't think it was the gunner. Either that or I, the gunner and I killed each other. Oh, well. It was a good try. We got to nine again. Jeez, we got wiped out so fast, though. Like, we all died within, like, two seconds of each other. Got obliterated. All right, well, uh, anyways... What if we all take shelter and far back on wave 9 and 10? I think we'd get overwhelmed. I don't think... I don't think we're gonna... I don't think that that would work. You can show me what you mean, though. I don't know. Something to think about. Because 9 is kicking our butts. Although, like, we almost got through 9 before. That vehicle came from a very unfortunate spot. And I didn't get the gunner right away. It took me a second or so. And you know how quick they can kill. And I'm not even sure I got it, but I'm pretty sure I did. Spitballing ideas. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, do we really need to take the jet out right away? I feel like the jet was out for a while before it started bombing, so maybe you could, like... It might just be easier to take it out earlier, but if it's not, like, maybe you could... Help take down some of the encroaching enemies and then switch to the jet? I don't know. Anyways, that is gonna be it for tonight. Uh, so upcoming streams, we'll be playing The Witcher on Sunday. Um, Tuesday, we'll, we'll be back on Resident Evil 4. And then uh, next Friday, we'll be here on GTA Online. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.